Welcome to Setup Mastery, your go-to channel for all things tech. Here, we explore the latest gadgets, unbox cutting-edge devices, and provide step-by-step -step installation guides to help you optimize your setup. Subscribe now and join our journey to master the art of perfect setups. Today, we're excited to guide you through the setup process of the Netgear WN3500RP Wi-Fi Range Extender. Whether you're experiencing weak signals or struggling with dead zones in your home, this device is designed to enhance your Wi-Fi coverage and ensure a stronger, more reliable connection throughout your space. Let's dive in and get started. Here's what we'll cover today. First, unboxing the Netgear WN3500RP Wi-Fi range extender to see what's inside, and then, a detailed guide on setting it up using a web browser to enhance your Wi-Fi signal. Let's begin by unboxing the Netgear WN3500RP. Inside the package, you'll find the Wi-Fi extender, a power adapter, an Ethernet cable, and a quick start guide. Ensure you have all these items before we proceed with the setup. Now, plug the extender into a power outlet. Ensure it's securely connected and in a location where it can effectively boost your Wi-Fi signal. For optimal performance, position the extender midway between your router and the area with weak Wi-Fi. Once plugged into a power outlet, wait for the power LED indicator to illuminate green, indicating a successful connection. Once the power LED is green, use a Wi-Fi-enabled device like a laptop or smartphone to connect to the extender's default Wi-Fi network. The network name will be something like Netgear underscore EXT. Open a web browser and type www.myWiFiExt.net into the address bar. This will take you to the Netgear Extender Setup page. If prompted, enter the default username and password, which are usually admin and password. Dot. Follow the on screen instructions to connect the extender to your existing Wi Fi network. You'll need to select your network and enter your Wi Fi password. The extender will then connect to your network and create a new extended network with underscore ext added to the original network name. After the setup is complete, you can move the extender to its final location if needed. Make sure it's within the range of your router's signal. The link rate LEDs on the extender will help you find the optimal location. Green means a good connection, amber means a fair connection, and red means a poor connection. Now. Connect your devices to the new extended network and test the connection. You should notice an improvement in signal strength and coverage. If you have any issues, try moving the extender to a different location or repeating the setup process.